Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Cracking Solutions and in this video we are going to discuss our class 6 science chapter number 6 Changes around us We have previously discussed this chapter Changes around us in our previous 2-3 to three videos where we have discussed the introduction to the chapter then we have discussed our changes and the definitions now we are left with one more topic which is could there be other ways to bring changes this is the last topic in your book and after this our chapter will be complete might be this or the next video our chapter will be complete so we are going to start with the chapter chapter starts here we have all seen the tools which are used to dig the soil so these are the tools which I have underlined. So these are the tools which are used to dig the soil. Figure 6.6. .6. Have you ever seen the iron blade? Now what is an iron blade? So there is an iron blade. The iron blade is a tool. So in these tools, how are the tools fixed? You know the wooden handle. This is a wooden handle of these tools and this is fixed with the tool which is known as iron blade so that iron blade has a ring in it what does that iron blade have the iron blade have a ring in it in which the wooden handle is fixed so that ring is mostly used to fix the wooden handle okay are you understanding normally the ring is slightly smaller in size so that ring is slightly smaller in size than the wooden handle. Very important topics are being taught. It is very important. Listen the video carefully. So it is that the ring is smaller in size. For example, I'll just show you. Come here. So in this, I'm going to show you. Example, this is the size of the ring. Okay, this much is the width. And it will be like, this will be the width of the wooden handle. So this is the ring and this is the wooden handle. So it is mentioned over here that it is the size of the ring and this is the size of a wooden handle. So now you know that you can see the difference between the sizes yes can you so the difference is what it makes difficult for the ring to go into the wooden handle to fix it so if it is smaller how can it go into the wooden handle to fix it so the ring is smaller it is very tough for ring to go in the wooden handle to fix it so, to fix the handle, the ring is heated and it becomes slightly larger in size. Very important. Or we can in other words say the ring expands. Very important. If, it, you, if you know it, that this is your one type of change that the ring is expanding now the handle easily fits the ring when the ring cools down it contracts and fits the handle okay you understand it now i'll explain you this topic see to the board carefully now forget this we'll do it later okay now you see over here there is a ring and there is a wooden handle. I showed you the slight difference in the width. There is a difference in the width of the ring and the wooden handle. So what happens when you are going to heat it? So when we are heating the ring. So there is a ring when we heat it. So you know the process of heating process of heating a metal expands it so when you heat any metal you can do it with any metal which is in a round shape and it is smaller in a size and the other thing you want to fix in it or i'll give you a very good example 
we have discussed the same example in class 7th that take a copper bottle and if the copper bottle or we can say normal bottle the bottle cap is difficult to open you just pour some hot water over it and now when you uh, open the bottle cap it will be very easy to open how because when the bottle is, bottle cap is tightly attached to the bottle then when you put hot water it is heating the process is heating so that metal is going to expand and it becomes loose that is why it is easy to open the bottle cap after pouring hot water over it so the process of heating a metal expands it this process is called as sorry is called as expanding now after some time when the heating will be done so after the metal is heated it will automatically cool is it yeah so when it is heating is done it will automatically cool so when it will cool it will again start contracting so when it will cool it will start contracting contracting make, will make it tighter and it will again be compressed with the bottle mouth so the bottle cap will be again compressed that is known as contraction the process of cooling any metal helps it comes closer or gets it contract is known as contracting expanding contracting so this is what was explained in the book coming to the next such a change in a metal for fixing a rim of a wooden wheel or a cart as shown in figure 6.7 come here now it is a very great example so this is a very great example now you see that ring is smaller in size than the wooden wheel this is the example of class 6th which we are going to do it and it is a very important question and answer also so it is smaller in size so it will not fit so we are going to heat it when we are going to heat it it will be expanding so when it will expand we are going to put it back and it will again contract now this was what ha what had to be explained to you in this topic one more activity seven let's see this activity take a small candle and measure the length of a scale now fix it at a place which is light up lit up now let it burn for some time the candle let it burn can you see the change in the length of the candle can it be reversed now it is a question that when you burn a candle it starts melting so now can you make that candle again is it true or is it false the answer i will be giving of this question answer is going to be given in your google classroom google classroom your answer for this question i will be giving so the code for the google classroom is in your description box go and check out the google classroom also where we will be giving the answer for the question and this is a very important question it will come in your exams repeat the activity 7 with an incense stick wait till it burns completely what happens to the incense stick the stick burns to produce some new material there are ash and some gases we cannot see these gases but can sense due to the pleasant smell can this change be reversed the both the changes answer with the incense stick and the candle will be given in the google classroom don't miss these answers because it's a very important question now mostly the chapter is complete and this was your last video related to this chapter there is a summary given
you can read it in your book or read it now it's it is just two points given exercises of this chapter will be discussed now there are some questions related to it i'll be reading one or two questions to walk through a waterlogged area we usually shorten the length of the dress by folding it can this change be reversed now all of these exercises are very easy to be taken up you have to try it yourself exercises i don't think is necessary to be discussed because all the exercises are exactly the questions we have discussed in the chapter so i think we have completed this chapter very well and now next time i am going to be taking up a new chapter so till then wait for that chapter hope this video is clear if it is please like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel